Hey, today I want to talk to you about Facebook paid advertising and how to get cheaper clicks from Facebook in terms of their advertising program. I'm going to show you three strategies you need to know to get cheaper traffic so you can make more profits, have more success, and help more people. Now, my name is Jason Nivak. I'm one of the leading experts in the world on how to get more traffic to your site using automated long-term traffic systems. So here we go. In order to make a profit with Facebook, you're going to have to make more money than you spend. That's just the bottom line. Now, one of the problems a lot of marketers have when they're trying Facebook out is they're on the hunt for this elusive uh, penny click, two cent clicks, all these kinds of crazy numbers that they think are somewhere in Facebook where they can kind of game the system and get thousands of visitors a day, a month, whatever your number is, for like two cents a click. Here's the problem with that. That doesn't work anymore. It, they did for a little period, but think about it from Facebook's point of view. They're a public company. They have to make a lot of profit, right? Or they don't see their shares go up. That's the bottom line. So they really have no incentive in giving you penny clicks. If you can find some, you might, I've never seen it. I've been around a long time, but some people have, there are some people who do, but that shouldn't be your focus because here's the deal. If you're getting your traffic for like a penny or two cents or three cents or something like dumb like that per click, chances are that it's probably not a big market. And if there's not a big market and traffic's that cheap, there's probably not a lot of money to be made because no one's spending any money on advertising to get the visitors that you're trying to get. So, but there is ways to get some cheaper traffic. And I'm gonna explain them to you right now. The first way to get cheaper traffic from Facebook is write a better ad. Because then what's gonna happen is you're gonna get a higher click-through rate on your ad, which means you're gonna have to, or you're gonna get more impressions. The more impressions you get, the higher click-through rates you get, the more traffic you're gonna get. So let's say you write a bad ad and you get 1,000 visitors a month. <clears throat> you write a good ad, you get 5,000 visitors a month, hypothetically, let's say. So the difference is uh, like 4,000 visitors. And so if in the first scenario, if you wrote a bad ad and your ad sucked, you wanna scale it up, you gotta keep jacking up your cost per click to get more and more visitors. Now let's say that your budget's uh, 100 bucks a day. And there's just, because your ads are really good, there's an insane amount of traffic. What you can start doing is, is putting a daily budget on your traffic and then start dropping the bid price until your traffic maxes out at the daily budget. And so what you're doing is you're kind of continuing to put upward pressure on the traffic. So how it works is like this. If there's theoretically 15,000 visitors uh, a month in Facebook in your market that you could buy for the traffic, for the cost per click you're using, and you only want to get 5,000 of them because your budgets, well, what you're gonna do is every day you're gonna hit your budget, right? Because you're, you're buying 5,000 visitors, but there's 15,000. So what you can do is you can start dropping your cost per click, and then that's gonna curve off the traffic, and then instead of, say, uh, you're paying 30 cents a click, maybe you can start paying 15 cents a click, and your position's gonna go down, traffic's gonna go down, but it's gonna cut, you, you do it until it hits your budget. So now, now you're $100 a day and you're getting that exact amount of traffic and then you win. So that's how you can get really cheap trip clicks. The second way to get cheap traffic is to make your sales funnel more valuable. The better job you get at turning visitors into long-term happy customers and the more opportunities you give them to buy, it simply means you're just gonna make more money from those visitors which makes the traffic cheaper, right? So you don't even have to worry about cheap traffic. You just gotta do a better job at building up the value of your sales funnel in terms of more offers, higher value, all that kind of stuff. And now instead of making 1,000 a month, you're making 5,000 a month. And so that traffic is cheap because you're making five times more money off it. So that's the second way to do it. The third way to get cheaper traffic is to target better. Nobody, well not see nobody, most people don't do this the right way. You have to be narrowly focused on finding that exact uh, um, network of people you're looking for and the better and more tighter you write your ad campaign, the better traffic you're gonna get, which makes it cheaper, right? Because if you can make more money, the traffic's cheaper. 
And so those are the three ways you want to do it. Don't do a huge broad shotgun campaign. Focus, focus. Do 10 small little ones that all add up to a big one, okay? And then you're going to hopefully get a lot better traffic, get better clicks and rates on your ad, and be able to hopefully get a lot cheaper traffic. So hope that helps. Head over to snowballsecrets.com or click the link below. And what I want to do is I want to send you a free video that's going to show you how I was able to use the snowball traffic system to get over 1.2 million visitors to my niche market websites and how you can use this automated traffic system that's built on the fundamentals of the internet to grow your business and get more traffic. See you over there.